three weeks of qualifiers and high stakes online all the time to see who could grab a ticket to the FNCS finals. Each region has its elite teams who've hit the highest in FNCS's prior or placed top three in the quals this time around. For everyone else, the bus ride isn't over yet. Introducing the series leaderboard. Standings that are made up from the performances from previous weeks, allowing the best of the rest, the top 99 in each region, to play the semi-finals for a chance to place top 6 and hit the last stage of the FNCS. Here are some top teams in each region to look out for coming into the semi-finals. The top 3 teams for the series leaderboard in EU are absolute powerhouses, some just mere points away from qualifying to the FNCS finals, and the length's snazy x -Squeeze. Possibly the strongest team left across the world coming into the semis. They just missed all qualifying last season of the FNCS, placing 4th, and have made every round 4 this season so far in each qualifier. In Qual 1, they were first for the majority of the games, but fell short, placing 5th in that qualifier. The biggest struggle they have is facing other teams off spawn in their hometown catty corner. If they get to be the only Tigers in the cage of the drop, they can easily dominate their way through to finals. Sei, Kami and Teak are up next. Their infamous Kami split has been the talk of the drops this season, but it's amazing to see in and even out of the FNCS. In all the Cash Cup extras, they've placed higher than 10th, and they average 10th place among all the trio Cash Cups that have happened this season. A team centered around consistency and teamwork is going to be tough to deal with. Shakos, DKS and Greinho, a trio with an interesting history, as DKS was the only one able to make finals last season playing with a different team. They made round 4 twice, but haven't placed top 6 yet in any qualifier. If there's any time to push the gas on the pedal, it's now. With their aggressive mid-game style, as well as the way they shadow trios towards the end game, if they find the right path in semis, they should be able to add even more spice to the finals. He will be chalked up of too many teams and not enough spots to hand off to all of them for the finals. There will be major upsets in the region. Each of these top threes will have to play it perfectly to make it through to the final stage. In NAE, the top three teams coming from the Series Points leaderboard have some awesome teams that will be tested in the semi-finals. Beef, Lupian, and Nick, a team that's made it to every stage of the qualifiers and placed as high as fifth, but not made the upper echelons of the rankings to secure a spot in the finals. In the second qualifier especially, they went down 27th in the game where they needed just eight points. They've all been at the semifinals before with very low finishes and have had a lot of success on the console track in seasons prior. Now is the time though to level up their gameplay and show that they're a top team pushing for the finals. For justice dictated users, it's time for redemption. It's always a final game pop-off from this trio. Whether it's a 14 Elim win in their final game of Qual 2 or a 9 Elim win in their final game of Qual 1. This team definitely has the potential, but needs to reach it faster if they want to climb higher this FNCS. Can they ramp up early and fast enough to accumulate the points they need at the start of their run and outplace everyone else around them? No one is a stranger to this final team though, Knight, Shark, and Clarity G. Their playstyle has changed over the seasons to have more of a consistent feel coming into Season 6's semifinals. The historic X-Set trio of Shark, AV, and Knight had an awesome 8th place run in Season 4, but things didn't look as hot with a 24th place finish in Season 5. So they split up, changed things around, and now Clarity brings a new balance that looks more at playing each game out for top placement via safe pads all throughout different layers, rather than that old low ground domination style we were used to from the X-Set trio that Knight and Shark pilot so well. Will they tip the scales though in this new balance in their favor for top six, or would they need to resort to old habits to pop off qual in those final games? NA West as a region played out differently in this qualifier compared to every other season before. This was due to top teams and champions already auto-qualified to the final. Many trios have tried to fill that void of elite play, dominating games, shining in their region, and there's still teams that are left that have a chance to sit at that high table. First up is Boozro, Nigel, and Nani. Their strong suit is finishing out games. Rarely do they ever falter when in positions past the seventh zone compared to the rest of the teams around them. The issue is getting to that point, that end game kind of moment where they have control. A slip up here or one mistake there, getting to that position of power is the one thing they still need to get consistent with. And when they do in semis, I guarantee you it'll be easy rides to the top six and a chance for glory against the top teams in the finals. Symmetrical, Cadenox, and Turtle Tavern, a team with a strong history and even stronger performance. 
a consistent team that has good placements and points they've hit high but haven't landed on the mark just yet in the qualifiers this time they're ready with a knack for punishing mistakes hard making sure that no team gets away scot-free if their game plan works out and they get a good spot for just one game in the semis i feel like they'll have a record-setting performance that can launch them straight up into the finals last but not least is trashy j roses and vert 28th 22nd and 4th is their track record so far they only got better each week and as of that third qualifier they finally look alive a lot of the teams that gave them trouble in all stages of the game have already qualified and in all honesty it looks like semifinals will be a breeze for this team using it as a playground to practice for those finals should be the goal they shouldn't have a problem at all playing in and as long as their mid game goes well they'll be a big threat to anyone they face in their heat on their way to top six everything rides on this final push the series leaderboard has some big contenders but that's just a few names on select regions that are throwing it down this fncs the competition is worldwide and this weekend is the last chance to get a spot in the top 33 teams of your region who will join the titans from the last fncs and how will season six look with the rest of the teams catching up to those who've already qualified it all comes down to the top six in these semifinals. So get your seatbelts fastened on the battle bus, Fortnite fam. We're in for a bumpy ride. Beep, beep.